How's it guys, brother Jay? Second to the last evening and uh, back on my 2016 Mouflon hunt. I shot a U yesterday. I never have my camera. I had dead battery when I reached out in the field, but back out here today. See some deer feeding and I I seen two rams pretty far away, but I'm gonna see if I can sneak down and try get to that ridge and um, make a shot on this ram. I can see a couple deer feeding. A buck and two does. And, uh, spotted that ram. Kind of in there. Two rams feeding right there, pretty far away. They're at um, 440 yards right now. They're down in that ravine. I don't know how we're gonna get across and get one shot, but one ram on the right has a pretty good, pretty nice cape. His has a really nice white face on him. Not really sure how big they are. They look pretty good from here. So, as you can see, I'm pretty far away. And um, try make my stalk. See if I can come to the edge of that ravine, and if you guys know what area I'm hunting, you guys know that that gouch right there is pretty deep. And pretty wide at the top, so I'm gonna try them. Try these rams. See if I can get close. If not, back out and uh, try again tomorrow. Sure, if you're only shooter, but we'll look over the herd again. But at least I found the herd. The bad thing is, I'm pretty far away in there in a the ravine. Yeah, we got deer all over the place, and pretty hard to get close to this herd of rams. Try get video of them, but you know how sharp their eyes. Try peek over. Might have been shot. Just spin around.
So, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool just sitting here and watching this group of rams just kind of, you know, sparring with each other and, uh, and just watching this bachelor herd. But uh, as you guys know, it's it's tough hunting this this mouflon here in Lanai. Their vision is unbelievable. It's real sharp. And uh, this group of rams are in a spot where it's pretty tough to get to. Uh, they're on a steep, steep valley. And um, it'll be a challenge to get to them, but I'm, I came up with a plan. The plan was to go around and um, come down on them. You know, the wind is going to be in my favor. So uh, the stock was on. Here we go. Let's try to get close to this group. How's it, guys? I made it inside the valley. The rams are on this, this side of the hill. So I snuck around, came down in the valley, and they're right over this hill. So uh, I don't know much time, the sun going down, and they're kind of feeding, so I gotta catch up with the herd. Here we go. Cheap shape, baby. Gotta be in top shape for doing it. You gotta go up. So this mouflon season, I'm hunting with a brand new bow. It's made by Gearhead Archery. Uh, it's called the T20. It's 20 inches axle to axle. Uh, it's my first time hunting with it, and I, as you can see, it fits perfect in a pack. To me, it's the ultimate hunting bow right here. So after a very long stalk, I finally made it to the other side of this valley. And um, the mouflon is bedded down right over this hill at about 17 yards. Uh, just a reminder, this is a self-video hunt. I got no cameraman. I do this all by myself, guys. And uh, a goal of mine was to get a mouflon kill on video with my bow. And, uh, I, I thought it'd never be be accomplished, but uh, I finally did it. So uh, check out the footage I got, guys. Here we go. But, um, as, I'm, as I'm looking over. I see this ram starting to pop over the hill. So I duck down real quick. And um, he's kind of got me pinned down. He kind of knows, you know, something's up. And uh, luckily I had my tusk camouflage. As, as you can see, I'm, I'm moving my gearhead bow slowly in position. Um, I got this bush to my right. I can't really see what's to my right right now. I could only focus on this poly ram. But as you guys watch closely to my right, you're gonna see the rest of the herd start to pop over the hill. But uh, I really couldn't see anything to my right. So my focus was on this poly ram and uh, that was a target from the beginning. So that's, that's what I'm gonna target right here. What's up, guys? I was on that side of the, the ridge. 
I was at 400 something yards away from this herd of rams feeding, fighting. Made a big loop around, came right up to him. I shot that ram at 17 yards. This animal is not hard, uh, it's not easy to hunt. Their vision is unreal. Um, I knew I had to stay out of sight and I just waited for the perfect opportunity. Right when they would bed down, I made my stock and I got 17 yards. I enclosed the distance pretty fast. Um, I made a really good shot. I don't know if I got the shot on video. I just would aim the camera <coughs> in that direction and kind of hope for, for kind of hope that I get the shot on video. But uh, let's go check check out this ram. I know I made a good shot on him. He was standing. He was right here. Had had much nicer rams in his herd, but this was a poly ram. Uh, the other rams in his herd was real young. Standing right around here. Ah, there he is. Right there. Look, he never run more than never run more than 20 yards. Down right there, guys. There he is, guys, right here. The Kua. Poly ram. Look like uh, he coming out of his his uh winter coat. I don't know my arrow went. Yeah. Check out this poly. Cool ram right here. Mouflon State Hunt 2016. Archery season. Shot this poly. I spotted this herd at about 400 yards away. I gotta yell because the wind is pretty ripping right now. But uh, it's a pretty cool poly. Um, as you can see, he's got his winter coat. Pretty weird, he looked like one hybrid, like woolly fur. Kinda interesting. But uh I'm doing it with my T20, my brand new gearhead archery. Um got up to this ram at 17 yards and uh put the arrow where it needed to be and Ah, ah, never press record. Believe. But anyway, the most epic thing ever happened just now, guys. I saw some rams and uh, about five ewes up here feeding. And uh, they're feeding down this way. So I made a big loop around. I came around just to cut them off and uh, I peeked over this hill and there was a, they were on a D-line straight down on this ridge right here. So I just tucked in right here by this tree in the, sh in the shade. Right here, in this I was right here. I, I thought I pressed record but I never. I was tucked in right here, right under this tree in the shady spot. And I was against this tree. And I was getting poked in the butt by all this, by all this antenna. Anyway, um, uh, some devastating holes it makes in the in the animal. I got it tuned pretty good to my gearhead. Good blood trail. Oh, I see horns. <laughs> you see them? Right there, horn. Right there. Oh yeah. There he is, guys. Big ram down. Yeah, baby. Wow. I didn't get the shot on video, guys, but uh, you know, bow hunting these these animals here in Lanai are pretty tough. Uh, here he is, guys. My 2016 archery mouflon season. Um, I did not get the shot on video. It's it's really tough hunting this mouflon on Lanai, you know, their vision is, is unreal, it's, it's just unreal. You got to be real stealthy with these guys and uh, I was trying to get them on video, I was trying my hardest, but uh, here he is guys, I tried real hard for a nice ram, I think he's a beauty, 
Uh, he's a gorgeous ram. 